Steve's capacity for friendship cannot be overstated. He was so humble and low-key about his influence on others, though that I didn't realize how many people he defected until he was ill. For years, Steve told me about his fraternity brother and roommate, Corey. What he didn't tell me was that he was instrumental in helping Corey through a life-changing experience. Corey wrote me this week to share the story about Steve, or as his Michigan friends called him, Cheese. Corey wrote, I remember how he carried me in school when I couldn't handle life. You see, in a house full of drunks, I had a reputation. By the start of my sophomore year at Michigan, I was addicted to alcohol and pills. I had been kicked out of school. My parents were getting a divorce. I had no money left to stay in Ann Arbor, and I had no idea what to do. I remember the day I told Cheese that I wanted to quit drugs and alcohol, but I didn't know how or if I could. At that time, I didn't want to go to AA, but I didn't know what else to do. Cheese rounded up all my pills, even the ones I hid, and tossed them. Corey continues to share how Steve supported him through the following years. A lot of people watched over me in these first couple of years, but soon I came to believe that life could be great. Cheese couldn't have been a bigger part of that. God willing, next week I will be clean and sober 21 years, and I have a fantastic life. I tell my friends in AA today that I got sober in a fraternity house where God had the greatest friends in the world carry me for him. I feel the exact same way about Steve, my one true love. I know that God brought us together so that Steve could carry me and care for me for the first part of our marriage and so that I could carry him and care for him in the final months. Of course, we desperately wanted our love story to continue until we were old and wise and gray. We had big plans for raising Cooper and Katie, for continuing to travel, for spoiling our grandbabies, for continuing to learn and grow together. Already I find comfort that his beautiful spirit has found eternal peace and that we all know now have the most passionate guardian angel and that the oversized way that Steve lived and loved will continue to ripple among friends and family and, most importantly, our dear Cooper and Katie. Thank you. And thank you, Tyra. This anthem that we're going to sing today was by far his favorite, Creation Will Be at Peace. <laughs> 